Hello children, this is Pastor Joe. Today I'm all alone. Uh, people are very busy in their school work and class assignments, so I will share the time with you alone. <laughs> Question 23. Why must be uh, why must the Redeemer be truly God? The answer is because of his divine nature, his obedience and suffering will be perfect and effective. I know this, um, this question and answer um, has a lot of difficult words, but it's a good training. Um, so let me, let me um, share this question and answer again. Why must the Redeemer be truly God? Why Christ um, has to be God, right? The answer is because of his divine nature, because of the divine nature of Christ, because he is God, Christ's obedience and suffering would be perfect and effective for our salvation. That's the answer. His divine nature guarantee his obedience and suffering would be enough and perfect for our salvation because he is a lamb of God. He is um, paying the debt uh, for our sake. So um, through his divine nature, his obedience and his suffering will be perfect for our salvation. That's the point. That's the answer. Hard to understand, right? So um, let me give some illustration. When I was young, um, I think I was um, five years old or six years old. Um, I was uh, very passionate about um, the riding bicycle. So I was riding um, bicycle all the time. And um, if you look at the, the picture, um, my bicycle was not that fancy, but um, it was very strong enough to um, move around and um, explore um, all the towns and um, streets and uh, every corner of our, our town, right? So I was very avid um, biker. But one day I was um, riding a bicycle on downhill and I found a, a car and I, I couldn't, I couldn't um, switch the gear and turn the, um, the direction. I just crashed the car. It was horrible. So I was, I fell down and drivers came out and he asked me, are you okay? And I, it was not big deal. So um, I said, well, sir, um, I'm okay. And so I was about to go home and he found his car is actually uh, damaged. <laughs> Interesting, isn't it? I mean, my bicycle was, I mean, it was not broken or just as it was. But his car had a big dent. So um, the driver asked me, where do you live? <laughs> so he followed uh, me and uh, we, we got home. Uh oh, um, I, I am tr I'm in trouble, right? So I was calculating how much money I need, right? Um, how much it would, it would take to repair this huge dent. So guess what? Um, I brought a piggy bank to the driver when I got home. <laughs> I was thinking maybe um, piggy bank is enough. Maybe the money um, that I store up uh, will be enough. But you know what? Um, it was far, far, far below the cost. So I was really in trouble. Could I, um, could I avoid the debt? No. 
then could I um, pay enough? No, right? So I was really in the trouble and the driver was <clears throat> embarrassed <laughs> when, he, when he saw the piggy bank. <laughs> so my mom um, came out and she found out uh, all, uh, what happened. And she said to the driver, I will take care of it. <laughs> Not by piggy bank. <laughs> But she paid a uh, full price for the repair, which I um, couldn't afford. What does it mean? I mean, we when we have sinned, uh, we have a huge amount of debt. Can we pay back? No. It will be like um, bringing our piggy bank to the driver. Here it is, um, you, can, you can fix your car with this money. No way, right? And that's why we need mom and dad who can pay the full price. And that's why the Redeemer must be truly God in order to pay our debt. He has to be truly God. And that's the point for um, today. Christ should be perfectly God that he could pay all the debt of human being. What does it mean to us? Our Redeemer Christ is on our side and we need not fear anything because he is on our side. He is paying the full price. Like my mom paid a full cost for me right so christ is always um behind us i mean if we um make a mistake if we uh, mess up something christ is going forward and pay the price for us and that has happened to our spiritual life so christ came to the earth he um, died on the cross. That means he paid full price for our sins. Why is that enough to, um, to pay the debt? Because he is truly God. You know um, the logic, right? So our Redeemer Christ is always on our side. He always ready to pay. Um, and he did actually. That means you should not fear anything. You should not fear even death because death cannot do anything to you. Even though we all die in some day, but we don't, we don't need to worry about death. We don't, we don't have to have fear about death because Christ paid full price and he overcome, overcame um, the power of death. So children, if God is on your side, if Christ the Redeemer is on your side, if Christ is truly God and He is omnipotent, He is a mighty God, a wonderful counselor, then you should not worry about anything. So the memory verse um, is Acts 2.24. Let's read it together. God raised Him up losing the pain of death because it was not possible for him to be held by it means it is not possible for christ to be held by death he had a victory over death he paid the full price but god raised him from the dead so he overcame the victory I mean, overcame the death. So let's read this memory verse again. It's a very important memory verse. God raised Christ up. God raised him up, losing the pains of death because it was not possible for him to be held by it. Why, is not, why it is not possible? Because he is the giver of life. He is God. 
he is the um, the author of life. So death cannot hold him back. It's impossible. <laughs> so children, I want you to remember this. Christ, our Redeemer, is truly God. And He is on your side. You don't have to worry about anything. He paid everything for you. So again, um, today's question is this. Why must the Redeemer be truly God? If you don't understand um, the answer, <laughs> remember the story of my mistake. Okay? The answer is this. Because of his divine nature, his obedience and suffering will be perfect and effective for what? For our salvation. Remember, he paid fully and he is on our side. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for um, giving us a perfect Redeemer. The Redeemer Christ is on our side and we, we won't be worried about anything. Father, we know you are on our side as well. And Father, we know the Spirit is um, indwelling within us. So we are surrounded by you. Father, thank you for um, giving us a wonderful Redeemer and Shepherd Christ. Let us always remember the, um, the power of Christ and His a perfect obedience suffering for our salvation. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you very much.